Oh baby, thank you know so much You think you know so much You think you know so much I think you'll agree that this is no way to live There's my daughter Victoria sleeping There's my stuff Hi Ellen, how you doing? My name's Seth, um, that's Victoria She's not actually my daughter I was engaged to her mother, Audrey who died nine years ago from breast cancer. It's a very scary thing because I have a progressive breast cancer. It, it grew in a short matter of time. They found Sorry, it's loud. There's a truck there because we're sleeping in an alley and um, making this video because I know you help people and this kid needs help. So can you help her? Vicky is actually mentally disabled. She's 25, but she, she actually got social security on the first try, and she gets full social security disability benefits because when she was 13, she borrowed her mother's car um, and ended up, she borrowed her mother's car to get cigarettes, and she ended up in a three-car collision, and uh, it happened right in front of the apartment complex, and I was there, and we ran down, and Audrey told Vicky to go up to her room. And because of that, and because she had a really bad lawyer, um, she got charged with hit and run. So she spent some over 500 days, I don't remember, she knows the number, I don't remember, it's over 500 days in lockup. No one was hurt in the, other, in the accident. I mean, it was obviously a horrible mistake, but her life was ruined because when she was in lockup in San Bernardino County, uh, the doctors there decided to try a new drug on her. Here, try this new drug. And right after she started taking it, she said she couldn't feel half of her face. And the guards didn't believe her and told her to go back to her cell. By the time someone checked her, he felt her, her finger. One of the doctors on site or nurses or somebody there on site felt her fingertip and felt her pulse. They rushed her to the emergency room. And she has permanent brain damage. She's a good kid and she's still smart. There's just things her brain just doesn't... We're still building workarounds to try to fix her brain. But we're homeless, so it's constant things like this. I'm so sick of humans. I want to have a good day today. People need to stop fucking with me! Hey guys, cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> but that guy's cool. Oh, that guy. thank God for that guy. Because it's going to be a really bad day until that guy walks yeah. by. Woo! Thank you, buddy. Thanks for being cool. Hey, thank, guys. thank God you're cool. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Ooh, if he'd stayed home today, our whole day would have gone differently. Yep. Probably. <laughs> so the money she gets from Social Security is not enough to live on. So she's on a waiting list for HUD housing. A 10 year waiting list. So she's still homeless, we're still homeless. Now I won't even get into all my problems because I'm not asking you to help me, Ellen. I'm asking you to help her. She's, she used a little bit of her money to buy that motorcycle. She doesn't even have, it's broken now. She doesn't even have a helmet. She's just trying to stay alive and she's harassed constantly. She just needs some help. Because the thing about that 10-year waiting list is she's five years into it. So because of the way the government set up and the way they help people, we'll give you money, but we won't give you the housing voucher for 10 years. So she's now, she's got five more years of being homeless. I mean, all they have to do is give her a hot housing voucher and she'll be able to not be homeless. She can't go five more years, Ellen. Please help her. I've reached out before, I've reached out for help. No one ever helps. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but because we're running out of time here and I don't know how much, I know she can't go five more years. So I'm gonna just pull out all the stops and I'm gonna end this video with a trailer that I made a while, um, this film that I've been trying to make about her mother's life and the parallels with her life. And it's a film that'll probably never get made, but I'm gonna use the trailer here to try to maybe pull your heartstrings and maybe, maybe you'll help. I love rock and roll, 
For another time in the jukebox, baby, I love rock and roll. Come and take a chance and dance with me. It's a very scary thing because I have a progressive breast cancer. It it grew in a short matter of time. They found out I had breast cancer in the emergency room because I felt the streaking pain streaking through here and my veins were swollen and that wasn't normal and normally I have really tender breasts during my um, period which is when about this was happening but I knew this was not right so I went to the ER um, they said I had a lump inside and they seemed all worried about it which scared the dickens out of me I so sometimes we have to go through things to get us where God wants us Sweet dreams are made of these. What am I to disagree? I travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. I feel good. I knew that I would now. You kill me. I kill me no more. Just go a little lonely, yeah, well don't let me out of your side. Oh baby, you think you know so much, you think you know so much, you think you know so much. I can't get no boys attraction, but I try, and I try. I can't get no hold on no, I said I can't get no What if there's a cure for cancer? If you read about it, if you study a little bit about it, then you know. As a doctor, I didn't believe it initially, but it works, and it, it works because we see it in the patient. If you have an acid environment in your blood, your body fluids, you're more prone to develop a number of different diseases, including, including cancer. If you manage to change the pH through a formula or through a healthy type of nutrition, then you can manage to eliminate a lot of uh, the diseases that a person might have, including cancer. The response is incredible. 